everyone welcome back to my channel first things first let's grab a glass so go get your juice go get your wine or well, this is just oj because a girl can't be bothered so let me take a sip first while i'm taking a sip please go get your juice your water whatever you want to drink and let's chat so refreshing anyways so during the lockdown i was splurging on what else of course perfumes i made to buying shoes like some of my girls called me oh i just got this new pair because a lot of things were on sale I mean, people were not really buying stuff, so a lot of things were on sale. So my mates were buying a pair of shoes, new bags, here and there, Lulu, YSL, go 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 But I can't be bothered. <laughs> it's what I love, I love. So yeah, I bought a couple of perfumes. I think I bought like, I won't tell you the number, you'll see. Uh, so in no particular order, I'm just unboxing. I'm not really going to be giving any details about the perfumes. Some of them I've used before. If I've used them, I'll tell you. Whatever it is, you'll find out. Um, so let's just get right into it. Uh, well, most of these perfumes I bought them. Um, Lord and Taylor was doing a sale like one mad sale one time. Jesus, like I spent even me, I know that I spent money. I like this is my amount of money, but I just put it in my uh, Robin Hood. This self will know, but anyways. Uh, so the first perfume is Alien Fusion. Yeah, Alien Fusion. I've never, I, I don't even know what this smells like, but the thing is, I like the I what am I saying? Like, I love the regular Alien the alien Ud majestic the regular alien the alien Ud majestic and i'm like honestly how bad can alien fusion be so let's find out i just launched it so i've never even sprayed it so let's see what it smells like of course it's nice mm, i think i still prefer the the regular alien this is a 60 ml i don't remember how much i bought because i bought everything at once so I'm not going to disclose the prices today since I don't remember. Yeah, it's okay. I'm not like in love with this, but oh, all right. Then of course, um, I bought the regular Alien because I'd run out of it. This is the regular bottle, and it is 90 ml. This I'm in love with. The Alien Fusion. It's just there. I wouldn't advise you to get it if you don't already have it. To be honest. But then again, maybe it's because it hasn't like really settled. But the alien, the regular alien is way better, that's for sure. Yes, <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah, yeah. So if you see my recommendation, just get the regular alien. Don't, don't bother getting this. So get this, don't get this. Yeah. Um, so I'm one of those people that if I have a black pair of shoe, I don't mind having the gold. The silver my friends are like ah, ah you are this shoe so until i use so that's why like if i like something i just get them in different colors which is why hence the alien and the alien fusion but obviously i still prefer the regular alien so those are the two perfumes that i bought during the lockdown another one is c passione i guess that's how it is i'm not french so please bear with me um yeah c passione i guess it obviously means passion I have used the regular C in the past, so I was like, let me just get this one to see what it's like. So, moment of truth. Let's find out. I hope I like it. Hey, Godo. Godo. Okay, let's find out. Um, it kind of almost smells like the regular C, to be honest. To be honest. But then again, like, so the thing is, I wear perfumes at home as well. Like, when I take a shower, I just wear perfume just to smell nice. So, like, for instance, this would just be an in-the-house perfume, same as this. Or, like, maybe when I'm going out and I mix it with something heavier, like, ah, this babe done that right. So, this would be, like, the first layer, and then I layer it with something else. Another video, I'll be talking about layering perfumes, what notes to use, what notes not to, what notes go well, hand in hand. What notes don't go well so yeah like i said i'm not like going into details about notes with these perfumes i'm just showing you what i bought recently so yeah super soon is it's all right it's all right we'll manage it another one i got is this tom ford i've never even smelled this one i got the 50 ml tom ford fleur de portofino aqua let's find out never used it <laughs> I mean, honestly, this perfume, most of them are like try and error, of course, if you, if you don't try them, you would never know. So let's find out. 50 ml, this is the bottle. Little cute. I mean, just more like the usual Tom Ford um, collection. Mm, 
obviously aqua. So it smells like water. <laughs> water with a bit of. Mm, on a scale of one to ten, I'm gonna give this uh, five. Just because I don't know what the longevity is like, I just sprayed it. But I'll give it a five out of ten. I'm not in love with it. So which one am I in love with so far? I'll just say this one, the alien. Uh, okay, next we have La Vie Belle, Lancome. This I love. This perfume I love. I've used it before. I just restock. So I didn't buy like very um, strong perfumes. No oud, nothing. Just lights. Not every time extra strong. So I just smell like a girl, lady. So this perfume, eh? Um, this one I can spray on about because... I know what it smells like. It's very feminine, very fruity. Oh yeah, this one I love, I love, I love. I really like this perfume. Yeah. Um, so with this one, hold on, let me let me take a sip. <laughs> Drama, very extra guys. Just deal with me, I beg. Okay. So this one, the first time I even smelled it, one of my girls. Okay, yeah, me see, yeah, yeah, me see what's coming to America. I am see yeah, she doesn't really wear a lot of perfume, like just hair, hair, if you're not like me, then I'll like bath with it. So, she was coming all the way from Nigeria, which is like over 12 hours, and then I picked up at the airport, I'm like, ah, Miss, what are you wearing? She's like, hmm, just something, no. So I was like, <laughs> she's like, just something like, can it, um, no, no. I was like, can you Jesus, look at me embarrassing my life, I was like, anyways, she's like, just something like, I think it's called a V, but I just have a small bottle, I'm like, what, and this perfume last day, like, over 12 hours, and I can still smell it, and, so yeah, that's why, like, I went to cup mine, and, of course, I've never regretted it, because anytime I wear it, I always, always, always get compliments, so, date night with bae, date night with family, anybody, get this for your mom, get this for your sister, get it for your sister, sister, all of that. They will, they will appreciate it. Okay, on we go to the next one is Jador. Jador, I almost everybody knows this perfume. If you don't, well, now you do. Jador is a classic. I've had, I've known about this perfume since I was in high school, which is how many years ago? Girl, I'm old. So yeah, Jador is a classic. Very long lasting, very, very long lasting. Yeah, if you don't know what it smells like, well, you'll find out. Yeah, Jador, basic. And why not, if not, get another one? So when you get Jador, you get Jador Absolute. <laughs> so the next perfume is Jador Absolute. It smells very similar to Jador, but I think I prefer Jador Absolute just because it's a little more extra than the regular one. So this is it. Let's spray it. Yeah, Jador Absolute. Um, so, of course, if I to recommend between Jador and Jador Absolute, I'll go for Jado Absolute. So let's cut yourself one or both or none. <laughs> uh, let's see. The next perfume is Marc Jacobs Decadence. I have a, this is my first bottle. Uh, I smelled it on somebody and I was like, oh, what are you wearing now? Because if I see you and I know that you're smelling nice, I'm going to ask you. I'm not even shy. Like, I actually stop strangers to ask them what they're wearing. Just because, because you always learn, you learn every day. Um, as you can see, I'm truly, really, really unboxing it. The packaging is really pretty. Um, don't follow. Uh, let's see. Sorry, no, sorry, not sorry. Enjoy the process. I've unboxed it. Yeah, this is really pretty. So it looks like a purse. Uh, okay. Yeah, so it's like a purse with tassels. Yeah, like really, really, really cute. Hey, sexy cutie bottle. Okay, uh, yeah, this is nice. I smelled it before. I'm just gonna spray it around my body, on around my body. Yeah, it's long lasting as well. Um, I would definitely still pair with something else. I just wouldn't wear this one. It's only if I'm at home. Um, and just because I like really strong perfumes. Okay, so the next one is Supreme Bouquet. You guys, I have raved about this perfume. This is like my third bottle now. Why I sell Supreme Bouquet? Get yourself one. Um, well, who was this? It wasn't Lord and Taylor. I think it was named Marcus recently. I think they did a, uh, if you buy, if you buy something that is worth $175, you get a certain percent off. And this perfume was $175, so I'm like, you know what, let me add this 
then I got a foundation. Yeah. So I got both. So it kind of felt like I was getting the foundation for free. And I'm like, mm, why not if not? Because uh, you always got to save one way or the other, right? Before they take all our money. So it's for me again. I've spoken about it over and over again. It's one of my all time favorites. So, yeah, so beautiful. Okay, the next one, we're almost done. I hope you're not bored. You better not be, because, girl, I'm working hard. <laughs> the next one is Chloe. Chloe is so sweet. I love this perfume. Long lasting, nice packaging. Here's the pack, the box, and here's the bottle. Very cute. Very, very cute. I'll give it today. Yeah, this is like the only Chloe perfume I like, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, so pretty much Chloe by Chloe. So that is that. And then the last but not the least is Ajmal. So if you, excuse me, if you like Arabian um, perfumes, this is called Ajmal Abia. I got this in Dubai when I went last year before the lockdown. Yes, I went for a wedding and I got this perfume. Like, it's so cute. And I love it. Like, I've, I've bought it a couple times. So, this is the last but not the least. So, if you ever go to Dubai, does any website here sell it? I think, um, I think Fragrance Net sells this perfume. I think so. So you can check it out if you want. It's really nice, very strong. Very, very strong, actually. Yeah, yeah. I know like those Arabian perfume, that makes sense. When you step into a place, I'm like, ah, what's this babe wearing? So yeah, um, Ajmal Abia is one of my latest collections. And um, that will be all. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I tried to make it as short as possible without rambling too much. And, um, yeah, so that's, those are some of my recent purchases. I will definitely share more with you guys later. Thank you very much for watching this video. I appreciate it. If it's your first time here, thank you once again. If it's not, please subscribe, like. If it's not, thank you for watching as well. What the flavor I say? Um, but yeah, please like, subscribe, tell your friend, tell a friend to tell a friend about this unboxing video and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Please guys. Uh oh. Please guys stay safe. Like please stay safe. I love you all. God bless you. Let's drink again. Cheers to the good wait what song am I trying to sing? I don't know but whatever. Tell no gosh what am I doing? What am I singing? Anyways um I think I'll try to sing just to the freaking weekend. Ew. What about I say? Anyway.